Hey, what's up, guys? Rajat from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Welcome back to another amazing Element Studio tutorial from Season Two. Okay, so without wasting any more time, let's get started. percent people are not subscribing my channel whenever they come and watch my video so i highly recommend to all of you that please do subscribe my channel whenever you come and watch my videos now let's get back to the tutorial okay guys so right now we are in after effects and as you can see in this video we are trying to create this amazing photorealistic jet strike pack animation inside of after effects with the help of element 3d and this will be a lot of fun so don't skip the video we have a lot of informations in this tutorial okay so first of all let's create a new comp here and here i'm clicking like 1280 by 720p and uh, name it like uh, e3d and then just simply press okay okay so first of all we need an aerial footage here and you can find out this footage link is in description box below and uh, if you just double click on this aerial footage you can exactly see this is the main aerial footage and this is very high resolution okay so after that we have to take a new solid and name it like a jet 3d and uh, after that we have to obviously right click and then go down you can find out video copilot and then simply press element okay after element we have to jump into scene setup which is element 3d inbuilt scene setup so this is here we are right now in scene setup so first of all just go to this jet strike pack and we have a lot of flight pack here you can use any one from here i'm using this one my most favorite one and this looks very sharp and sci-fi kind of thing okay so first of all i'm just turn off the grids i don't need this right now and uh, let's turn off the draft textures here so you can see it clearly so first thing first we need to change all the materials from standard to physical so just change it to all from standard to just like physical materials this is the most first important step okay so all materials are converted now let's change the environment i am just using the video copilot by default this one or else you can use this one so let's select this one this is a very good sky environment and all so let's increase some reflectivity here so just turn on the environment in background so you can see it clearly okay after that just click control and click on the texture so it will go to this body material and here you can find this glossiness reflectivity and over down you can find out this reflection or you can call it the reflectivity just increase the reflectivity to 100 percent and after that if you just go to this glossiness just turn it on just increase the gamma or decrease the gamma you can really change the glossiness by using this okay so i'm just decreasing it just a bit or else you can control it from here press ok and from reflectivity as well just increase just a bit okay that's it so i think i'm done for now here and let's see what exactly happened when you apply some lighting texturing and all inside of our after effects scene setup okay so here i'm done just go to this glass setup and here you can increase the reflectivity a bit just a bit to see how the exact this glasses will look like when some reflection will hit here see this is the reflectivity okay cool now all set here and let's press ok from here so we have our this flight here so just make it to fit to 100 percent now we need to take a new camera okay so these are the all step which is most important steps for this tutorial so don't skip any one step from here otherwise the entire output will be lost so just take a new camera and here i'm taking a like 80 millimeters now why i'm taking 80 millimeters the main reason is if you want to create some uh, like a uh, high movement shot on uh, like big zooming capacity on all then you really need some 80 millimeter shots and all or something you can use like 135 millimeters anything okay so i'm just press ok in this 80 millimeters and right after that what you have to do select the aerial clip and then just make it to 3d so right now it's converted in 3d no need to change the camera first press p for the positions and just move it on z axis this is like all the basic things you can see in many other tutorials available on youtube but the main thing is the animation for this kind of tutorials now scale it up just like this okay that's it okay after that the scaleness is pretty nice let's scale it more just like this okay that is fine now select the camera press c to go to this camera view and now if you rotate this you can see this is already feel like is in 3d space because already we are right now in 3d space okay so first of all we really need to do one thing that is select the element 3d and over there you can find this create group and null just select this and make this create button so what happened this is a group controller here so just name it like a control and then jet 
okay now select this controller press uh, rotation key and just rotate the flight just like this and really need to positioning it pretty nice because this is the most important step here also because if you don't positioning it completely it will not come properly okay now let's move it to something this direction and make it just a bit down or else that's it okay now select the camera view now the animation part so just make it zoom it back something like that now we really need to make the animation should be pretty nice so first of all just make it to fit to screen and we need the camera animation to be down to up just like this okay so just make it to first down like this and after that select the camera press p and shift a for point of interest select both and we need to go to five seconds comp just press n to trim the comp area now here we just need to rotate the camera to something here and move the flight to just like this that's it that is fine now if you play this the animation will look like this. and when you play this see it feel like the flight is exactly moving the main thing is it's just like an illusion so the illusion create that the flight is moving but it's exactly not so first of all we really need to change some more settings set but before that we need to do some random rotations for this flight controls so just go to this r on this flight controls so first go here and click all this rotations from here and just move it to here and you can just rotate it in randomly on many other directions i'm just making it to here and after that just in this case i'm just making it to something here and right after that i'm just rotate this just a bit here and again on this axis i just need to rotate it in this angle because the flight is going on uh, this y axis so just making it just a bit in y axis and the position should be something around this one and let's make it more clear okay that's it now if you play this see the animation is looks something like the flight is floating and all okay no need to use easy is in or easy is out something like that because the moving will be very high dense so no need to do all the things okay see the flight is moving pretty nice and most realistic things and all okay so now we need some zoom when the flight will come some this kind of area we need some zoom here so I'm just going inside of the camera properties and you can find this zoom just turn it on and one two three four five six frames and just zoom it just like this that much is pretty nice and now here we can just simply positioning it to here like this so what happened see one keyframe is came up here and just make the position it that's it so it means there are some variations will come up and it will create some cool parallax background okay now play this and see what exactly happened see the zooming in and it's pretty nice now when you go to the last frame you really need to positioning it to again something like that okay that's it now let's see how it's look like and yes pretty nice and the focus the zoom exactly pretty nice but see the it's it's not look some more realistic so let's add some more realism here so first of all the zooming it pretty slow see if you notice the zoom is pretty slow so just make the keyframe position pretty slow here now see the zoom is pretty nice okay fine now here what you have to do just select this both zoom and press f9 because we really need this to pretty smooth okay so now here you can find some orientations here just select this all and just we could just move the keyframes to something around this much area pretty nice okay now you just need to randomly change the camera angles from here so i'm just rotating the camera angles from here just like this I'm just rotating the camera here it's just completely up to you just make some random rotations and that's it now when you play this see it's feel like the camera is coming and it's like wow pretty nice now you see the camera is coming very jerk okay so what happened select this press f9 so it means it will become very very smooth now see what exactly happened see okay pretty nice and now see the movement is pretty like uh, fast so what you have to do you can really increase the time length of all so just increase the time length and it will fix just like this so what happened exactly now let's play it once see the flight animations are pretty nice cool right okay so the animation is almost done if you really want some more uh, parallax what you can do really just select this aerial background and just press the positioning key just key it on in the first frame when you go to in the last what you really can do just simply move it on this axis just a bit don't need to do too much so it means it will create some more parallax and will create some more depth in it okay so now we really need some camera shakes here so select the camera press uh, a and uh, first of all press p and then shift a to point of interest and after that and just press alt hold and click on this stopwatch and just type 
wiggle and you can find out this one and i'm just pressing two comma and then 10 that's it you can place any other your preferable number then press zero and let's see the camera shakes and it's like see the camera shakes are really really well so let's turn on the motion blur and let's see how it's exactly look like after turning on the motion blurs on the jet strike pack and the background image as well see the motion blurs are pretty pretty nice see in fact the zooming timing also wow wow pretty nice okay if you really need to change some more settings you can really do that but i think this looks super amazing let's turn off this controller we don't really need this okay now turn off this motion blur now the main thing is the colors okay we really need to do some lighting setup so first of all take a new light here i'm taking this light and just change the color to just a bit brighter or else you can take this ambient light here as well and the intensity is 401 it is pretty nice press ok so the light has came up here now just you have to go here to just press double a you can find out this options here just turn off this accept light just turn it off that's it and after that select the parallel light press p here and we just need to zero 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 and shift a and after that just you need to know just shift a and all settings should be something like one zero zero that's it so it means like everything is in center okay now select the parallel light it's here right now just change the positions of the light and make sure it should be here and now you can change the light positions as much as your preferable choice okay so the light position should be on something around this background and just like this and here it is and pretty pretty nice okay cool the lights should be coming up here and let's set that the scout shadow should be on now we need to uh, add an uh, ambient light so i'm just taking a light ambient light from here press okay okay now see the camera animations are just like this so here ambient light capacity should be you can increase it more or you can decrease it more it's completely up to you i'm just making it like 56 percent press okay and let's increase the intensity to more just like this okay now what you have to do just need to change some settings from element 3d go to render settings you can find out all the settings here so first of all turn on the shadows here so you can find out see the realistic shadows and change it to ray trace shadow now you have to change one more time the light setup based on your shadow so i think the shadows are coming from this direction is pretty nice and i think yes yes this one this one is pretty nice okay cool now no need to change any more settings from shadows now go to ambient occlusion turn it on make it to ray traced see the more depth are coming up here okay now we need to go from output panel and reflectivity make it to five so there are more reflections here and right after that everything is all set from here let's do some color corrections basic color correction so first of all take a new adjustment layer and uh, just name it to cc for color corrections select this right click and you can find out color corrections and curves no need to use any third party plugin for color correction you have your most important color correction tools that is called curves so simply just decrease and increase to create some contrast here and then go to this blue increase the blue value just a bit and decrease it to here that's it and again you have to take another curves and now increase the master color from here okay that's it now just check once how it's exactly look like and yes pretty nice that's it fine and then turn on the motion blur and you can find out your complete output okay guys so this is it for today i hope you really enjoyed this amazing just strike pack element 3d tutorial from season 2 and if you really love our videos then don't forget to subscribe to our channel vfx world because we are really close to hit 50k and if you still not follow us on our social media handles then definitely you should check out all of our social media handles link is in description box below so go and check it out and i will see you in my next video tutorial or podcast or anything so till then have fun stay home keep watching keep rocking vfx world